So welcome back and here I'm going to show you a little demo of what I can produce from you know from having this character more dynamic and giving more life to this character okay so here are a few techniques that you can you know practice upon All right so so for instance I want this character to be more appealing right so what I do is I go from very weak drawing in the very first beginning make sense yeah so in the very beginning here it was a little bit you know loose extremely loose yeah so once I have that loose and what I do is I will try to capture the you know the look of the character so the goal here is if you look at it you have to be able to squint your eyes and look at the silhouettes make sense All right this is not perfect yet but I'm playing with Kyra Skuro you know what I mean you all know how to use Kyra Skuro Kyra Skuro technique, <laughs> technique is practically um, using the high and strong shadows and highlights make sense so it is just if let's say light is coming from here one direction so how it kind of like captures the character of you know how does it show the character's presence in the scene with just one single light make sense so pick a light right if one direction then from there you can move on to get like you know hey this character the highlight is around one side before you have it more in depth like when you're coming in for details and so on and so forth make sense hello All right. so Kyroskuro will help you to first identify the key areas to look at so normally that is one part of visual narration so as you can see here this one may look a little bit cluttered but it's still fine here I'm planning to do as much mistake as I can All right the reason why being is I don't want to hold myself and in ransom of you know this perfectionism that eventually will lead for me to just um, kind of like um, nullify my creative process Make sense yep so here is where I am trying to capture the mood first right so this is not the perfect perfect art yet but I'm just using a simple technique where I am highlighting or creating the space where I know how to see or how to read my character in the very very first beginning Make sense right so that's the whole reason of us to do this kind of exercise or sketching all right so I want to see the flow I want to see hey something is important here something is important here how can I make this cool what is the components that I can take in and is it telling a good story am I making sense all right so the goal here is whenever I do this kind of uh, drawings and so on and so forth okay I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I had previously done in my work so click on this and go for my in Havana. and see so like this kind of artwork I'm just dropping in so this is what I'm intending to have or expect from you guys See? 
can hello yep so whatever that you're doing at this point of time right so here is where you are first starting off again the steps is to be very loose with your drawing do not be so precious about your artwork just yet and of course you can you can take a little time not too you know too long but it needs to be fast to produce your you know let go the you know that that the passion that you kind of have the expression that you kind of show with the character design or the creature design once you finish this what you do is you kind of have this karaskuro a technique where you're going to see i'm going to just point in from one component like for instance i'm just going to look at uh, the highlighted area or the areas is going to be uh, you know being highlighted by the light cast and then how the shadow is going to cast on the ground to state that the the, shed, uh, the character is not floating make sense right and i have this strong highlights or very strong you know uh, speculars and so on and so forth just to bring your eyes to the uh, or bring your attention to the specific component like for instance if you look at this creature this is for vehicle i was just playing around with it right initial process so I'm, when i go closer you can see huh okay the highlight is around here perhaps somewhere here yep so it's not perfect yet but in a rough i can see huh okay can you read this can you read all these characters it's supposed to look like this can you guys read this yes no hello let's go so this is the whole idea of sketching make sense yes no all right so that's that so what i'm going to do is now i am going to save this first for creature oops i'm going to create a brand new one for feedback This is going to be Vanessa. Right. So, Vanessa, what you can do is, you know, see when you have this uh, sort of like King Shaman and so on and so forth, you were first trying to get the references put together. Of course, it's not a miracle to, you know, it's, it's, it's a miracle to produce something in, you know, 10, 5 minutes and so on and so forth straight away because you're trying to digest the information first and foremost, right? So normally for sketching and so on and so forth, you will take at least about like, you know, uh, a half an hour sort of to digest, you know, try to get the direction in, in uh, you know, a reference collection in kind of like, you know, how do I go, go with this whole brief myself, right? And then say half an hour, you know, put it together and you dissect information from it and move on and say another half an hour where you do the big shapes you can try out the big shapes and get you know the shape language is correct so kind of like makes sense to direct you even further so kind of like extracting and also giving you more information and so on and so forth right then you move on for uh, you know adding in lighting perhaps as well as adding in uh, you know more depth so more value studies a little bit and that's where you kind of get you know you add in some unique designs or unique emphasis on where do you want the character to be focused upon make sense 
Yes. No. All right. So what would I do is from yours. All right. So first thing is once I get all this information in, number one is I will see whether the form is making sense or not. Okay. If this character is going to hold here, how stable is this character is going to be? Can see? Right. And once you get the idea first, first and foremost with this uh, silhouette drawings and so on and so forth, you can exaggerate certain components. See that? You can make the uh, character more hunching, so he's more you know more menacing in that sense so he's gonna hold something perhaps right so he's got this four arms that is gonna be oh he's gonna be able to capture you at any time and you know make your life difficult when you're facing it. so this kind of things right so if it's a boss if it's a you know commonly a very scary boss and so on and so forth they're going to have this menacing look and when we face them it's going to be very tiresome to fight them and see right. so this is where I will extract the information and get this character more exaggeration And it will look more scary. You can see? Okay, I'm just drawing on top of it so that it, you can see how the character sort of like blends in together to form this interesting shape. So now the character is stable. See that? I'm going to drag this over and you can see. Okay, what I did is I picked up certain components. I kind of like you know made sure that I am if the face is emphasized. So if you see this beetle and so on and so forth, the beetles will have this. Right, they'll have something that is covering on top. So this one, this part here, you see. So this can be like a crown or the back or your deltoids you can see right so if this is the eye and this is the face you're going to go like a couple of eyes here and you're going to go like maybe he has this beard so you're creating this story you can see Here you can have little lines and so on and so forth, and you can roughly first add in some details. So from here, an example. You see, I'm just going to draw fast as much as as fast as possible. So with anatomy understanding you are now forming this body so it's heavy now he can have this big leg that is holding the character I have something to support it can be very clean for, for now and since the shaman he captures this you have to create this description adding on to what has already been described to you so you're giving this persona so perhaps he's the one that is holding this uh, what they call dream catcher sort of 
can see now Vanessa can I so this is one way of doing from here step one now moving to step two you creating the IDs right you are expanding your IDs actually right from here if you see if it's very tight it's boring so what happens if you are making it like example like this so you have this nice looking face for instance I see that nicely popping up and perhaps what you can do is you can make it into three quarter you can see so it's much more interesting and it gives you the action lines so it goes like that okay so it's holding something he has his escape blah blah blah, blah. Right, so this is the face, correct? And exaggerate la. Oh, oh, oh. And the eyes is coming here. And this is the horns. You got what I mean? This is after you finish your silhouettes. Okay. So remember, in the first very beginning of the class, I said, you know, there's a couple of ways of doing things. So depending if you are more fluent in drawing the lines like this first, before you go ahead and do your silhouette, you can always do so. Make sense? You can see? You can't speak much because you're in office, is it? Oh, you took leave, is it? Uh huh. Okay. Can can can. So you get what I mean? The idea behind it. So if you're gonna add in all the colors, or uh, if you're gonna add in. See the difference? I'm not saying that my art is the best of the best. You got what I mean? You guys can draw better. But what I'm saying is, if you were to elaborate more or you, try, you can express more, you get more options at the end of the day. Okay? So that's the whole code. Like for instance, this is very flat, very linear. So maybe you want to change this. So what you can do is you can play with the, even if it's straight, right? So you can have the head is pointing down and the chest has been shown upwards. And then the hip is going inwards a little bit and the legs can be more elaborated as such. You can see an example something like that a little bit more with perspective see you can see difference okay so that's that on my take for yours. Now I'm going to just group this as feed. Okay, any questions, Vanessa? Can you see what I'm trying to achieve here? Very hard to draw loose. So you, have to, you have to train yourself, my dear. Okay? So, because, you see, when you are being very detailed, I like detail as well. Who doesn't want your art to be nice and beautiful at the end of the day? But at the first stage, you don't want to choke yourself. Make sense? Yeah? The moment you choke yourself, you're only left with one option. It's do or die. 
right? You get what I mean? Right? So that is do or die. So the moment you choke yourself, that's when you go like, oh gosh, I'm, I don't know how else to move on with this. Because you have spent like, you know, a couple of hours doing your detailed drawing and then you get rejection. What would you feel? Sorry? It's de depressing, right? Yeah. So you don't want to have that depression moments is coming in. You know what I mean? So you try to avoid that. So if you want to get like, you know, straight away beautiful drawings, these are all loose drawings. You can see? So if I get rejection out of this, I'm fine. You get what I mean? I'm fine. It's okay. Even if I if I get rejection for this, I'm fine. It's charming. Right? So this is the next stage. So next classes when you come, it's about how you extract colors and we can apply on the characters. But then again, the what they call the first fundamental needs to be right first. Even this is still loose. You can still the lines as see the lines are extremely loose and you're you're trying to get the ideas across first. Am I making sense? All right? Yeah. Yep, yep. I'm gonna give feedback on that. So this one. Chris. Oh, Okay, I'm going to give uh, feedbacks for all of you. Huh? Those are here. So I'll just, you know, just run through a quick one. So you guys can, can have a little fun. All right? You can reflect back and you can look back and say, hey, um, you know, maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not. I don't know. So you guys can evaluate later on. Okay, uh, Vanessa, you're fine. You get the idea behind it, right? So don't choke yourself straight away. Leave, like I said, make mistakes now. Make it. Don't regret and spend time so much and then get rejection and you feel very demotivated. Make sense? Yeah? All right, cool. So now let's move on to Heba. Heba, you're there? All right. Heba, first thing that you want to do is get your floor, right? Once you get your flaw, do this, the T. Straight away you will see whether the character is going to be. This applies for everyone. Eh? So if I miss out on uh, others, you can also apply the same thing. So I'm going to share this in Discord or the ch as well as in the classroom. So you can get this PSD and have a look at it. How is it done and so on and so forth. Make sense? All right, cool. So first thing we want to get is the flaw. Right? once you get the floor this is where you're going to know okay where the character is going to stand how is it going to sit on the uh, in the realm by itself okay when it has a floor or somewhere where he can he can put the character all right so this will help you to get the stability of the character all right simple t pose like this all right don't need to be too harsh in the lines and so on and so forth okay Number one is you have the idea definitely, it's a good start, right? What you need to know is first thing, where do you want to emphasize? Is it the face? Is it the body? Is it the limbs? Which is more menacing or adding to your, um, what they call, your character persona. Make sense? So the limbs, right? Is that the limbs or the head? So area of focus. Okay. Right. So once you identify that, say for instance, the character is going to have this big. Uh, I'm just going to draw a different color pen. Now. Right. So the character is going to have this big uh, amulet that represents the big persona of this character. So this is where you're going to focus, and the face. On the face, where else you want to have. Uh, maybe the eye is prominent to the crown example right so which are the components that you want to focus on 
So these are all addition. So in a character design or in a creature design, it depending where and what is the function is all about. Make sense? All right. So once you have that in mind, number one is you want to see whether the posture is looking okay or good or it's menacing or is it fitting the persona and it's giving you an interesting selling point. Make sense? All right. Change this color to slightly blue. Okay, let's see. So if I'm going to draw on top of this, I am going to first evaluate. Right? So see the limbs, where the limbs is going to form. Right? If I were to do something more, because each and every of these um, characters will have this, right? The legs are like this, broken down to components. All right? Okay? Correct? So you want to have that uh, shown in this character design and so on and so forth. So what you can do is you can start drawing with simple blocks like this and break it down for its posture to look more cooler. See that? You open up the space right? and you're going to hunch the character a little bit. So when he hunches, he's already, he's a warrior sort of character is ever ready to kind of like attack you. Now, you can see? Right? So in that manner, what you are also doing is you are creating this the airship. Right? And seeker. So here, if let's say you can see you are trying to lead your eye to this object example right this is where you twist and turn for good posture make sense right see that something like that now the character is majestically showing its appearance as well as it is more sellable. You're not taking away your designer, they're giving a little bit more posture. So you can have this a little room for readability for the face readability. You can see, okay, you can have the wings kind of like open up a little bit. So with this now, I'm actually drawing on top of your part. See that? So if I open this, I have more readability. Can see? Yeah. So these are things that you may want to work on. Again, floor, get the floor. So this is the direction to get the stability of the character. This is there somehow, but perhaps you want to have this soup, right? The C curve, right? When you have the C curve, the character will hunch. See this? If the head is coming around here, let's say it has all this uh, hair, I don't know, furs or whatever, not. Can you see? Right, he hunches in and he has his pelvis around here and you're opening up the leg like that. And you're giving more room for the readability. See that? Okay, so if I'm going to erase this area inside two on top of it. Can see now? Right. So this is what you are intending to have. The moment you give room for so the readability when you squeeze or squint your eyes will be much more solid. 
right? It brings out the persona. Okay, so you can draw like you know, uh, stick bands and yeah, some things to help you to see which is the best component or best silhouette that is going to show the character persona even more solid. Can I? Alright. Same here. Erase this. Alright. Erase this. And see that. More dynamic. More fun to look at. And the eye direction is going to make or to kind of like indirectly direct you where the scene is. Okay, okay. So this comes with a little practice. So, like I said, all this is to see how your character begins. In the very first video. Okay. Okay. A simple drawing on top of it. Right? Any questions? Can I? Helpful? I'm going to look at Chris's drawing. Interesting. See, Chris, are you there, Chris? Hello, Chris. I can't hear you, Chris. Can you hear me, Chris? Gris, Gris. Is it Gris? Oh, can you try talking? No, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Let me see. Yeah, I'll add. Can you try now? Okay. The same issue I had. What you can do is you go to Discord. All right. Go to. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. So, if you have any issues with Discord, you go to your know, settings and go to voice and video. Scroll down, blah blah blah, and you see this audio subsystem change to legacy. And if you have push to talk, when you click on this, you apply or you add a shortcut or you hit the voice activity. Ah, now I can hear. Ah, okay, all right, all right. So, can, can, can. So, all right, cool. So how's the class so far? Cool, cool, cool. So of course, with the technical issues that we had in the in the in the beginning, I'm I'm so sorry. We had you know some glitches because Discord was uh, turning down on me. But anyways, yeah. So. <laughs> Some issues, but uh, the next round will be much more better. Yeah. So the goal here is today, as we spoke about, you need to get this, um, you know, good silhouettes before you add on details and so on and so forth. Right. I can see that uh, you are also your your fast. I mean, it's good. I can see the characteristic 
of the you know the persona is kind of lifting up but uh, you can be also a little stuck with detailing so try to avoid that as much this is fine this is fine yeah so just just be aware of it so don't fall into the trap I used to be there as well so that's why I'm sharing this you know information with you guys make sense yeah <laughs> you took too, too long, right? Ah, ha, ha. Okay, sure, sure. It takes time, alright? So build your visual libraries, guys, and then uh, build your observation skills. It's about how and what are you picking, alright? The components that is important. You get what I mean? So if you're looking at you know uniqueness that is going to stand out or it's going to be prominent to the character and use that from there move on to the small little components that is going to uh, you know kind of like you know uh, fit or compile all the jigsaw puzzle into one piece, right? So uh, let's move on to the feedback. Okay, as I can see here, first thing. Whenever you're doing, get the ground, right? Ground is there. Okay, you start off with that. Your T, right? So perhaps here the character might fall. One is because the line that you're seeing, the head is going to be this big. Example, right? And though he's hunching, he's hunching forward like this, and your torso is going inwards, and your legs are very close to like that. You can see? Or this guy. Right? It's it's good. It look it looks good, but you just have to be careful with this. So it's about positioning it to bend and position it to kind of like be more stable. You get what I mean? So if you're gonna push like this, maybe you wanna push where do you want to push? So how does this do kind of like your stomach and your pelvis, the butt area and your your thighs is going to hold or stabilize the character. Make sense? Yeah? Yeah. So this is common. Yeah? You have done sculpt. So I believe that they're not, you are well aware of this. <laughs> Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. We all learn from one another, so it's fine. Yeah? So nobody's perfect. Right? See that? So now, if I open up the leg, it's much more stable. So if it needs to be stable in this manner, so you can always rotate the heads in such so it kind of like oh okay that's cool or you want to have like you know the the chest is going inwards and maybe he's going to use his staff to stabilize or you can even bring it further down here and make it more solid with his posture you can see yeah so that's what I meant, right? So this is cool. You want to emphasize where is the eyes is, perhaps, or maybe you don't have eyes for the character. It can be very small. See that? And give some dark areas, okay? And bring it out. Okay, something like that. So his might much more spread out the legs, so to stabilize, because you are going to bring this. You know, the head is heavy. 
or the armor that he is holding is heavy. You want to hold that in proper. Make sense? See? Same goes with this guy. Again, when you have this kind of uh, the image is there, so for instance, if I'm going to just take a few components and I'm going to do this. Okay, do that. You can see? Number one and number two is for you to focus on him. So perhaps you want him to turn here. And do that. See? Or you can bring this guy here. You know what I mean? So he's looking at you. And he goes like, draw this. Now you're opening up the character. And see, you've got the flare. You just have to work on the posture. So these are all landmarks that we can work on. With. And see? Right? So if I erase this, the areas, okay. I darken this. Example, huh? You can see now clearly. Like that. Sense? Okay? Right? What kind of posture? Right? You got the flare. That's no doubt. Same like this guy. Again. You guys, all of you can draw. It's just that we get stuck. Draw that first. You can see? Once you have your T, once you have your cage, sort of, your guide, right? Then you can start adjusting. I'm to be better. I think I'll take the pink one. Ah. If you open up, whether the limbs is going inwards or outwards. Depending, you see now. So if this is coming, it's crouching. So how many limbs? So are you having like that? One, and then it's going another way, right? And then it's going another one. And one, two. So you first you want to draw and get the feel. You know what I mean? So how it kind of like joins together and forms this lake. So you know, one, two, three breakdowns in the lake by itself if you're studying the lake. Got it? So from there you work on. Okay. See that? So if it's coming from here, then you have this dude. I'm just going to paint over. Okay. 
One, two, three, and then four. You can see now? This is your file base. Pick this guy. Right? And of course, human anatomy for this anatomy is very important. Huh? This is the chest, and you open it up. See that? Again, the head can be something like this. Wings facing the side. Guys, can see, yeah? Everyone? You can add another one more hand if it's necessary. If it's necessary. Okay, and then you can exaggerate a few things. Like that. You know what I mean? And this can be slightly lighter. Right? So that's that for your side. Any questions? Helpful? Alright. So I'm going to put this as grills. And now I am going to look at chest. Okay? So this will be the last preview. Uh, Aaron is online but is not here but it's alright. Okay, I will share this video anyways, right? Uh Heba. Uh Jess. Jess, right? Yeah. Jess. Form Jess. Yeah. Again, first thing that you want to look at is whether it is stable or not. Okay? See the floor? The guy is not solidly forming. So you lose this you know, dynamism of this character. Make sense? The volume. Right? The idea is here. The good effort for the start. Idea is here, but you kind of like, you know, because you're not playing with the or probably you just you know, you haven't played with the uh, what they call the dynamic movement just yet right so again what you can do is you don't need to make it like you know super crazy you know perspective like this you get what I'm saying here yeah if you want to you can but you don't need to make it like super duper exaggerated uh, perspective make sense Right. So what you have here, this is this looks interesting, right? Whilst this became flat, maybe because of the time, yeah. So that's fine. We can always fix that, All right? So what you can do from here, because he's bending, right? The chest is going to come around here, and he's going to push inwards and bring the hand somewhere here. Make sense? Right, and then the face is the face is the one you want to emphasize on. Yes, no, don't be shy. Okay, so if the face, then where does it look? This direction here at you, 
with the audiences you can see right so you can put like an eye for your direction in a way okay okay and if you have this unique uh, you know the clipper is coming in you can do that as well and perhaps instead of this moving inwards you can have him attack like that you can see so if I pick this the color and top I'm this is my drawing right I'm just giving you a guide you understand what I'm doing see yeah so you have to make sure that it it flows for your time your style not my style you know what I mean I'm just here to guide so that you guys can see in a different perspective instead of you know getting stuck to just one that's the whole point okay all right yeah this applies for everyone huh? see so even even I, I even uh, it's not like you know it's it's super easy. It takes time. Right? So sometimes we all tend to have this you know mistakes and so on and so forth. It's okay, but we are trying to improvise our skills along the way. You can see now? Have, uh, just a little bit more dynamic. Okay? So this is... If it's jumping, then you can have like, you know, you can have different structure. So you can also play if you're very confused and so on and so forth. You can also make like a skeletal post surface. So if he's jumping, how does he jump? He crouches a little bit, right? So if this hand is moving forward, if it's coming this way, or this way, so it's gonna turn. You get what I mean? You do the landmarks first. You understand? You can do that as well. Yeah. And he holds something. And see. You go like whoop, from here and this. Or he leaps, right? So he stretches himself. Yeah. So depending. So here you have this secret as well like that. You can see yeah? Okay. So this is another one. Like when once you see this again, where do you want it to be focused? Right? So if the head, then the head first. Adjust it from there. You got what I mean? Then identify you draw on top of your drawing, identify where the torso is going to be and where is the pelvis sort of an example because this we can relate, we can always look at our body and human anatomy we can refer back. Make sense? Right? So these are things that you want to look at first and do a landmark. So the idea is to first catch up your, you know, bring out the ideas that you have in mind based on the brief and then you move on to adding in the details like this or if you want to turn it back here so the face is coming in this way instead okay so it may look even more menacing.
Right? Right? So what you have to do is work on your postures. Same goes with this guy. Anything too straight like this, sometimes it can be boring. So maybe you want to turn it a little bit like that. So he is, is this character just standing or you want him to sit? Is he standing? So here, depending if he's a fat dude and he has this, you know, big helmety kind of, you know, feel or his head is here. In this tiny little pot. So you can have this as like a crown, like a cloth, like a cape. You got what I mean? And you can have the limbs tiny. You can see? Can? Helpful? Okay. So this is what we are trying to do. End of the day, it's not just about how beautiful our work is going to be, how presentable, how it and captures the look of the whole uh, no, creature and the appearance, how appealing it is. So, though we had a little glitches here and there, I hope uh, today's class or today's short course has helped you to see things from a different angle. Right? Okay? I'm going to save this as feedback. Okay, saved. Save. Okay. Save. Okay, fine. I'm going to save this. Kapush. And now I can just throw this which is sketching and so on and so forth in the announcement. Can you all access to the announcement? Who? Your files are too powerful. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in our class, right? So, Kapush, which design, and in here, and upload. Okay. So once this uploads and so on and so forth, uh, once I post this, you can just pick it up from here. Um, you go. Feedbacks. Feedbacks. And sketching. Out. Okay. Right. Both. right so you can refer to this file um, and then at the end of today once you get the gist out of it you get the idea behind it right by the end of today you can you know you can turn into the so see what you can come out with probably about five right uh, probably ten different types of sketches something that you can you show that you have improved can is it okay? Is it too much of ask? Hello? Yeah? This is just to practice. So don't beat yourself too much. I'm not going to you know, give you marks for this or whatever. This is more to learn. You understand? Okay? Alright, so uh, what do I need from you guys is... Uh, you can, I'm just going to paste it in the general. Now you can give me feedbacks of how do you find this class and how helpful it is to you. Okay? Ken? So, thank you guys. This is what we have. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can, you can change the thing. You can. But if you if you want to challenge yourself, you stick with the uh, brief that I've already given. 
You know why? Because it's not going to be uh, gloomy all the time whenever you're working clients. I believe that you are now working with the studio. You, are, you know that it's, it's not too, you know, on our way all the time. So we need to practice ourselves to make sure that we cater for the company or we get the creative brief and the client that we're working for. Right? But I give you, I give you all a bit of, you know, freedom. You can amend it, you know. Maybe you want to change that to something else. You want to do the minions or whatever not. So have fun. Can? Eva, you're saying something, I think? I can't. Oh, you're breathing. <laughs> so can, eh? Uh, Vanessa? Uh, be as expressive as you want. If you want to change or you, you don't like it much of this, you uh, know, the shaman. You want to change it, but as long as it suits the fantasy creatures. Can? Okay? Alright, so we'll go with fantasy creatures. So next week, um, if you guys are going to come in or continue, you can come in. Then the next class, we can uh, we can have this colors and so on and so forth, the ambience creation, value studies and so on for the next one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. So, depending on the participants, supposedly we should have about 13 participants. Unfortunately, we the only present is uh, four of you. Yeah, but that's fine. Let's see how it goes because it's it's Tuesday and it's uh, it's hard. But this is the only time I have, my dear. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to stop recording for now. All right. I will post this recording uh, in YouTube for you to have a look at. Yeah. And I'll share the link in our classroom. Okay. Or uh, yeah, in the classroom so it's easier for you to look at. Okay. So thank you very much guys. So that's it for the future design plan shortcast. Right? Hope you all learned very much. And uh, I mean it, it gives you a good insight and yeah, you can start your concepting.